Y'all, I hate rain barrels. I hate them so much, in fact, I decided to go ahead and install one up at the shop. I'm a gutter guy. I've seen a lot of them. I've put a few in. I've taken a lot out. Mosquito traps. Waste of space. Eyesores. A source of mold and algae. But no matter what you think of them, they can be pretty useful if all factors are in place. Up here at my shop, I have no source of running water. We did not plumb into the main house. I don't have septic up here. I only have an electric service. And with that in mind, it'd be nice to occasionally get a little bit of water to maybe wash my hands with or to fill up the quench tanks inside the forge or to just generally clean off some tools or whatever. You're not drinking this stuff. So once we've got our spot picked out, we need to clear a bit of a space and put down either a wood, a sand, or a block foundation for the barrel. I'm gonna go with this, but I'm not gonna cut into this main downpipe. I like these downspouts. They're all still new and pristine and I just don't have it in me to bust into them. So I'm gonna get some smaller downpipe and go right here and put in a dropout flange should you choose to do the same thing I'm doing, pay attention to your grade. This gutter's pitched from the center off to each spout. Sorry for the blurriness, I'm getting rain all over the place, but center to each spout, end to the spout. If you put a spout in here to go to your rain barrel, you might be disappointed because this water goes in and flows this way to this spout. I don't hang gutters level. Shut up about hanging them level. It doesn't work the way you think it works. Fight me. Now I want you to envision something with me here. That's one course of block. You need head pressure. And when this thing fills all the way up, it's gonna have a pretty decent amount of head pressure on that little hose. But boy, I tell you what, wouldn't it be nice if things just worked great all the time, not some of the time? So what I'm gonna do is go grab one more set of block and make a two row set. In a nutshell, the higher you can put your rain barrel, the better you'll have better head pressure if you're gonna be using longer lengths of hose. Which by the way, unless you're running it from the top of the hill all the way to the bottom of the hill, you're not gonna be able to use a whole lot of hose on these things. I mean, maybe you can, but like, you just, there's not gonna be a lot coming out. Don't expect to power wash the house, all right? Now that we got these doubled up, I'm going to fill in all these voids. You can do it with concrete if you want. I'm just going to use crusher run gravel. All right, so we've got our double course block filled back in with some crusher run gravel. And I just happen to be fortunate enough to have this old cracked leftover pool pump pad. No good for a pool pump, but it's going to work great for this. Provide a nice flat top surface on top of this block. All right, so we've got it now to the standard of level that we'd like it to be. We need a two and a quarter inch dropout flange. This can be oval, rectangular, or in this case, circle. Or if you're gonna do the large size spouts, which are what exists on the shop already, you need three and three eighths, or three by four. Oval, rectangle, circle, whatever, doesn't matter. Just get a dropout flange. It's gonna make everything firmer, hold together nicely. Grab you a stick of spout, color of your choice, and you need at the bottom an elbow that's going to shoot the water in the direction of your barrel. In this case, straight out away from the wall that the spout's mounted on, an A-style elbow. A B-style elbow will shoot it sideways. An A will shoot it straight out. And an A offset elbow will shoot it at a 45 degree angle. In this case, the spout's gonna come down the wall, terminate a couple of inches above the barrel, and then there will be an arm that guides that water over into the screen of the barrel. All right, we got the flange. We got something to peck it in with. And we got a hole saw, same size as the flange. I'm gonna paint it to match, of course, but essentially that just slides up on this flange and brings it right to the wall without making the spout stick out awkwardly from the flange to the wall. Also, I have a side tip for all of you homeowners and other gutter guys alike. You're gonna to screw together your arm pieces. Note that your water's gonna come in like this, right through here, and probably splash down here on the low end of the inside, followed by coming through and onto the next piece. 
So maybe run your screws not where the water's gonna go, run your screws up high. Then they won't catch as much debris and they won't leak like you think they're going to. How about that? You probably don't own downspout or pipe crimpers if you're a homeowner just putting one of these in. So mark this. Downspout's got two ends, a crimped end and an open factory end. Easiest thing for you to do would be to pull your tape from the crimped end, mark the opposite end, cut that off. Now you've got a crimp that you can put your bottom elbow on. I've got a mark put on here. There's a lot of ways you can do this. Green snips, red snips, yellow snips, whatever. You can use a hacksaw to cut this off. I don't care, but this is the way that I do it. Whatever tickles your fancy. Very good. All right, now this next part's gonna be real important, especially for you other professional gutter guys that seem to throw some of this stuff together like you ain't even getting paid. What? Freshly painted elbows. This comes from the top down. Water flows from lap to lap to lap, not the other way around. Very good. We'll screw that together. Again, water is flowing here. Notice the screws are not exactly where the water is going to want to go. Now to the bottom. Crimped in. Elbow goes on, not in. So the next thing we need is to take two bands, two aluminum bands, screw them to this wall, and wrap them around the spout, screw it in so it's got a firm hold against the building. I cut these myself out of the gutter coil parent stock. It's just straight flat pieces of the coil that'll wrap around and fasten the spout to the wall. You can buy them at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, pre-made and fancy shapes and regular shapes. Don't really care as long as it holds it to the wall, you're fine. bit large so I'm just cutting off the excess. So basically we just complete this gap from the end of the elbow into the rain barrel. If your rain barrel is pushed all the way up against the side wall you may not have this. I wanted mine out a bit basically to allow for this drainage pipe on the main downpipe. That way it's uh, about 12 inches off the wall, so we're going to account for that gap here. bit of a gap that comes over here that way that water can drip down and knock or blow away any debris that wants to settle on top of this the same thing could be achieved if I had closed that gap but honestly this makes things just a little bit easier and all I got to do now is put a little bit of touch-up paint on some of these screws up and down this downpipe and then I think I'm gonna cut this cap off and put an overflow hose on one day this is gonna fill up entirely though when that day comes it's gonna need a place to run the water out without shooting out all over the top that's what overflow hose is for. We're gonna come in and cut the end of this piece off and with a hose clamp, attach whatever size garden hose, water hose, or just any sort of flexible hose that you wanna put onto it.
All right, so we got this guy screwed on. See that nice big flexible drain pipe down there? Yeah, we're gonna put the overflow into that. Kind of the idea there, this fills up and starts to overflow down the pipe. It'll just wind up in this, which takes all of my down pipes from the shop out into the woods. Things dry up around here, I'll put some sealant around that hole or maybe some drain tape, but for now, we'll call that okay. I think that's going to wrap us up for today. And I really All right, so it's been 24 hours. It's full. Took one day. We had a pretty good rainstorm last night, and just out of this one small spout right here on this whole run, that barrel is completely full. Hitting the overflow, actually. And that's one rainstorm. I'm not going to use that much water in the next day or two or even the next week or so. I got water now. <laughs> I've really got access. I all hanging out with me. Just want to let you know, no matter what weather God throws at you, stay grateful. See you all on the next go-round.